Hello, welcome to this episode. Today I'm responding to a viewer request on how to assign XY pads in, in um, Cubase. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use Touch OSC, uh, not the newest one, but the previous version. So if you want to see how to do that, stay tuned and keep watching. <music> So it's been a short while since I did my last video, uh, basically because I'm still working on my studio. I'm remodeling the kitchen. So the house is full of crops people uh, making a lot of noise. So it's difficult to record. So basically this is a short one in between crops people. So the other one is coming soon. Uh, but the studio build is going well. Um, it's getting more and more in place. So I will share stuff on that later on uh on this kind of modest home setup uh, but today we are going to talk about xy pads and how to assign them so what we will do is we will drop over to the touch osc editor and i will show you how i do it over here i've simply added an xy pad like this but because i already have it i will delete this one and look at this one i've designed value x control change in this case, channel eight, number 27, but it could be whatever you like. And I've hit the drop list and assign the same for value Y, where I used channel 11 instead. Basically, that's it. Just save and sync it to your iPad. Over again to Cubase, we have the studio, the studio setup. Here I've signed the track quick controls, which is in this case, maybe the easiest way to do it. Here you can see that the middle channel and address is the same as the X and Y axis of my pad. I click OK. I've loaded an instrument. And in the quick control section, I've added tasks for my first and second uh, controller. On, if you want to do, know how to do this, I have a, another video on that one, albeit with a very low sound level. So I, I apologize for that. It was bad day at work uh, however the information is there with these assigned all i now have to do is just move the xy pad and you see that there's a lot of interesting stuff happening so here you can see it here i have the xy fader that i can work with and the same numbers also goes to these quick control effects so i can choose which mode i want to work in Taking the chord here. As a small homage to Vivi Gurdansson's Tenet. Uh, we can also do this on synths. In this case, the first one goes to radio and the second one to radia. We'll open up the synth so you can see it. I will press a button and I will use my XY pad. I can also change for other stuff here. So for instance, I can do melt instead. And then you will see that it changes accordingly. So that's it. That's the short tip for today. Uh, there will be a short break again now uh, because of a lot of contracts coming in. Um, however, there will be more videos. If you have any personal uh, wishes on things you want me to talk about, preferably something nerdy, drop me a comment below. Otherwise, if you want to show your appreciation, hit subscribe, press the like button uh, and share if 
in, if you have any forums where you think it will be uh, useful. Thank you for watching. Cheers.